One of the things that Android has always done better than iOS is permitting emulators into the Google Play Store. I don't know why Apple refuses, even to this day, to let emulators exist in the App Store, but that's the way it is. Up until now, you've had to jailbreak if you want to run retro emulators on your iPhone or your iPad. But today I'm going to show you how to run pretty much any retro game, any retro gaming console, without having to jailbreak your iPad or your iPhone. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing is first, open Safari on your iOS device and then navigate to snazzy.fm slash emulate. It's linked in the video description below. That will take you to a website called Get Mojo Installer. You will then press Build Custom Profile and that builds an enterprise um, authentication install profile so that you can install non-App um, Store apps onto your device. Now, it will send back a little diagnostic information to this website so that they can build a proper profile for your phone or tablet, and then you'll press Install Mojo. A pop-up comes up, and you'll press Install. Now, you'll see that this next window will pop up. You simply tap Install again, and then Consent, and then Install and accept the warning even though the profile is not signed. And that will begin to install the application on your phone. And you'll notice that because Mojo appears on your home screen. Now, later on, if you do want to remove Mojo from your phone, all you need to do is navigate back to this profile, which is located under um, Settings, General, and then it's under Profile. And then you can go to Mojo Installer and then Delete Profile, and it will delete this app that we've just installed on our phones. But right now, we are going to open it. It's going to take a second to initialize. There will be a white screen, and don't worry. And then you can skip through the setup and press Get Started. It's preparing the first run, and then it will reload once it's done. This might take a second. And once it's reloaded, you'll get something that looks a lot like this. What we're going to do is press Sources, and then go to the official Mojo repository. Now, I should warn you, there are many applications in here that are not legal. <laughs> the one we're going to download is legal. Mojo itself is a legal application to run. However, stuff like vShare, where you can download any app from the App Store for free, or movies, where you can stream movies, uh, obviously those are not legal applications, so use them at your own risk, or better yet, don't use them at all. What we're going to navigate to is called GamePad. There are several different emulators, as you can see in here. Uh, I mean, there are literally tons. Game, uh, Game Boy Advance for, for iPhone, there are uh, NES for me. My favorite, and the one I'm going to show you, is called GamePad because uh, the applications and the games themselves are easily installable from the app itself. We are now going to press Install, and then press Install once again. And this application takes forever to download, like seriously, maybe 10 or 15 minutes. So just chill, don't worry, don't tap anything, just wait for it to finish. Once the app finally installs, you can give it a tap, and what the devil, it doesn't work. Let me show you what to do. Go to your Settings application, then tap General, then scroll down to Profiles and Device Management, go to Fuzhou Zhidian Electrico Limited, and then you can see that there is the logo for this application, and then in Chinese, what I imagine to be something about the app, and then press Trust, Trust, and you will be able to now open the app properly. If you click the Category tab, you can see the sheer number of consoles that are supported. We have the Nintendo DS, Game Boy Advance, NES, Sony PSP, MAME, Game Boy Color, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1. We even have the Bandai Wonderswan, which was a popular uh, console in Japan way back when. Nintendo 64, Sega Genesis, and of course the Neo Geo Arcade System. Now, obviously all of the titles are not in English, and that makes it rather problematic at finding them. However, if you tap the Search tab, it's not easy to really browse, but you can search for a specific title. So if I search SSX, press the search button, it takes a couple seconds because the library is so large, but it will search and find those games available for download, and then you can download them directly in the app. And that's what makes this emulator so darn cool, is unlike em other emulators where I have to sideload stuff, this can be done directly from the app itself. Now, I will warn you, and it doesn't really matter much when you're downloading older games, but if you're downloading Nintendo 64 titles and PlayStation 1 titles that are several hundred megabytes, uh, downloading these games is extremely slow. 
Again, it can download NES titles in a couple seconds because they're less than a megabyte, but games that are hundreds of megabytes, you're better off downloading them from another website and then sideloading them via iTunes, which is very, very intuitive, and you can see on screen here. However, once you have the games downloaded to your liking, you can go to My Game, that's what the tab is titled, and then click Platform, Search by Platform, or Look Up by Recent Play, and then your games should appear. Let's say we want to play the Nintendo 64 game that's on here, which is uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time. And of course you can tap that and the game will, actually that's Majora's Mask if I'm looking slightly correctly. <laughs> um, each emulator has its own settings. And of course you can modulate those to your liking. Um, in portrait mode, this one looks especially weird. Uh, you can tap these settings and change uh, the button opacity and a bunch of other stuff. And then of course you can exit the emulator altogether and go back to this main app. Uh, each emulator is slightly different because they have slightly different developers. Um, however, if you tap uh, this one, for example, Donkey Kong Country, um, you can see that this is laid out quite a bit better. I believe that some apps are, some emulators are more well done than others. Um, all of the, the Super Nintendo and the Nintendo are fantastically done. PlayStation 1 is actually pretty good. Nintendo 64 seems to be the worst. And only on my iPad Air 2 am I able to get a truly playable game. However, um, all of the games are really easily playable. The controls are great. The sound is great. Everything works surprisingly good. Um, is it perfect? No, but can you bring the um, fun of the consoles uh, to the modern day? Absolutely. Um, it's quite a hoot and it's worth a shot. I'm not paying attention. <laughs> hey, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, comment if you found this video enjoyable. And as always, stay snazzy. See you later, folks.